is both. But you don't look like a big bug. So here we have Lord Lucifer's favorite. I've heard much about you with the power hmm. given to you by Lord Lucifer. So that's who the old guy is. You are trying to create a new demon. He is. Big bug boy. No, I'm scared. Interesting. Give it a good try. I gave that a really good try. Okay. 
Nice, that helps me, man. That was that. I think, unless it's a second phase. No, that was it. All right. Even beyond <coughs> the flow of time, their battles have affected every living being in existence. Demons and humans are no exception. <laughs> They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos. One that would inherit his will and enter the <clears throat> final battle against the forces of life. Set. Oh, it's the homies. <laughs> the fiend Where's Beelzebub? The creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction. The mm. black hope that we had awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. One fiend challenged you, mm. unaware of the truth, while another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all the fiends, and now here you stand. Just as he hoped, a demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. So, will in darkness, I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, mm. then there is no need for you to return here. But, if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us at the very mm. bottom of the labyrinth. There. You shall be born again as a full demon, nice. body and soul. Let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path. One who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. Okay. Oh, him. was known as Hijiri in your previous world. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him, to when the conception occurred. What? And he seems to be dead the entire time? The of all the others who perished in the dawning chaos. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began. Wow. And his life. He never even made that. Did it not <coughs> seem odd to you that he was in the vortex world, unaffected, unchanged? <coughs> it was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. He was a being toyed with by fate, denied the respite of death, and condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. You kind of fucked up that part. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world, to record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. He was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. Man can change the course of his next life by virtue of his karma, but that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed, eternal life, just like a demon. What do you mean I've killed Watch plenty of demons? And record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Mm. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, 
He was given a life of torment and emerged in the Vortex world without realizing that he had died. Soon after, <clears throat> your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, <clears throat> he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hijiri challenged those vying for creation, <clears throat> and he lost his body once again. Sucks to be him. He is now on a journey to a new land of <coughs> suffering, but his will can never <coughs> be free, and his sin never redeemed. Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please, come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the menorah I gave you. Will you come meet my master? Then, we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. <coughs> please use the menorah and come see us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, 